welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea, if you're new here. Um, so today, we are going to be tasting the Weekly Crumble. The Weekly Crumble. Alright, so this week, we have the, let's see if you can see it. Ooh! The White Macadamia, the S'mores, the Snickerdoodle Cupcake, and the Peanut Butter Cream Nutter Butter. Right there. All right. So, also, it is a super good day because look what Crumble finally had. I got the wow. fancy butter, and I'm so excited about it. All right. So, I just went to the gym, um, taught a Pilates class, stopped and got my post-workout smoothie. From Juice It Up, which I have mentioned to y'all before. Um, so yeah, let's get into tasting these cookies because I, let me let my seat back. I'm like so excited about this. Okay. All right. Anyway, first we're going to cut the cookies. Can y'all see them good? They're just so pretty. Okay. So I don't want to, they're so pretty that like, I don't want to cut this marshmallow one because it's just too pretty to... Alright, here's that one, and then that one. Oh, maybe I should have done that one last because it got kind of messy. Oh, they're so warm. And lastly. Oh, the peanut butter is served chilled. Oh, I should have picked them up and showed them to you first. Oh, well. <laughs> Put some muscle in it. Put some muscle in it. All right. I need that bag back, I think. So. Okay. First, we have the Nutter Butter. It is served chilled. It is this one, um, a yummy, delicious Nutter Butter cookie. I'll put the description down below. Let's give it a try. Buttery, nut or buttery, peanut buttery. Pretty good. Hmm, need to find some napkins. Right here. A Starbucks napkin will come in handy. All right, um, moving on to, I'll try the white macadamia. So, this is the white macadamia nut. Can you see it? It has nuts and white chocolates. It's served warm. I'll put the description for this one in the at the bottom as well on the screen. All right. Mmm. That's a good cookie. I'll rate these at the end. That cookie is so warm. Okay. Okay. And crispy. You can taste the nuts in it. Mm. All right. Now these two, I was super excited about. The s'mores. The s'mores and the snickerdoodle cupcake. Most excited about those. So I think first I'll do snickerdoodle cupcake. Get a nice view of the inside. The icing looks really yummy. It's soft. Mm. You know, I really wish they wouldn't have put this right beside the gym. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crumble. This cookie, I just ate that whole little piece. You nailed it with that one, sis. Whew. 
right. I should have got like a bunch more. All right, last but not least, definitely not least. Thank goodness for tinted windows because I bet these people would be like, they could see what I was doing in here. I'd be like, wow, she has a problem. Okay. Let's get a piece with marshmallow in it too because I'll put the description down there. This is like a graham cracker cookie. It has marshmallow, chocolate drizzle. Oh, look at that piece. Do y'all see that? Do you see that? Chocolate drizzle. Okay, let's try. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, man. I dropped cookie in my car. Okay. All right. This cookie tastes like a s'mores. Like, not even kidding you. It is so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ten out of ten for s'mores and a snickerdoodle cupcake. All right, let's rate them. So we'll do. We'll do. Um, least favorite to favorite. So least favorite is just the Nutter Butter. Like, I'm just not crazy about a peanut butter cookie. So least favorite is the Nutter Butter. Next is the White Macadamia. Second place is the, oh, this is so hard. I really can't decide between the Snickerdoodle and the S'mores. Like, I just love both of those. Those two were amazing. So, if you haven't had your crumble this week, you definitely need to go get a s'mores and a snickerdoodle for sure. 10 out of 10. I gotta tell you crumble, you did it this week. You definitely nailed it this week. All right, so now that we've had our, our, crumble tasting for the week and I can I'm my heart is happy and I am very satisfied <laughs> um we're gonna head home and I want to show y'all so we have been um doing some outdoor backyard like redecorating situation and um it's not this is not going to be permanently how we want our backyard. Like we want to, we have a deck back there and we want to rip it out and like possibly put in a small pool, like all kinds of different things. So build a patio cover, uh, but we just moved in. So, and we did a lot of renovating to, sorry, you're a little wobbly. We did a lot of renovating to um, the inside. Like we did a whole bunch of stuff to the inside. So backyard kind of got like put on the back burner and it's spring and like we want to be outside we love being outside so we're just kind of redecorating for now until we really decide what we want to do because we're kind of we go back and forth so um we I went to uh at home yesterday and got tons well I say tons I got some new cushions for our patio furniture and um some welcome mats and things like that and redecorated the outside space. I got a rug, stuff like that, potted some new plants. So I will show you the before. This is the before it looked awful. It was just kind of thrown back there. The cushions were gross and you know. So things were just, the before things were just kind of, it mm, just wasn't very, very pretty. Um, didn't make you want to like go out there and sit and hang out. So um, now it looks just looks so much better. Like, um, and everything I got was from at, uh, at home. 
I just got a rug, three new replacement cushion sets. Um, I had some pillows, but I may go back and get some newer pillows or different pillows. Um, did I say a rug already? A new rug. Uh, some new welcome mats and um, I repotted some plants and just kind of like straightened up back there. We also have the new um, canopy cover because it came with like this can that when we bought the house there was like this canopy um, shade situation going on back there which we kept up but we're, we're going to get rid of it but for now we needed to um, buy a replacement because the top is kind of ripped so that should be here actually today. We'll reinstall that this weekend and there are a few other things I saw now that I've gotten things like I want them that I want to put um, out there. Like I want to go get another table and um, just a few more little things like that. So um, I'm going to show you all that. So here's, here is the, the, the redo and the new, newly decorated back porch. Here is the new. This is what the after looks like. All of these birdhouses that you see my dad built and gave to us, these are the cushions that I got from at home. 50 bucks a piece. They tie at the tops and at the bottoms. They're just so pretty. These are the pillows that I had. I may get new. I'm gonna take those lights and put across here, take these down, and this is the canopy top that we are replacing this weekend because it's torn. So that should be here today and we will replace it. All those birdhouses my dad built. It's just so pretty and peaceful. I wanna get a little table to go here between the chairs and we had some trees cut down. That's it. I love it. All right, y'all, so since we've made it home and we've had our crumble tasting and I've shown y'all the project that I have going on in the backyard and what I've been working on. Oh, wait, I wanted to show y'all. So, you know, it's been about a week since I had my brows done. Oh, it's kind of crooked. Um, I just wanted to show y'all how they're holding up. They still look so good. I still, I love them so much. Like they look so great. So yeah, um, but we've had our crumble and I've shown y'all the project in the backyard. Um, so that's gonna wrap up this video. I really hope that you have enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want more content like this, come back every Thursday for a new video, see what I'm getting into, see what I'm doing. And yeah, until next Thursday, have a good week. Music